When choosing uh, measures to be used in response, such as the use of systems that was attested recently in Ukraine, will certainly include uh, warnings to civilians uh, to uh, clear the zones that will be targeted. And we will certainly do this um, in a transparent fashion. And we uh, do not uh, have any fears that it will reduce the effectiveness of those systems because there is no way to counteract a missile that flies at a 10 Mach, which is 2.5 to 3 functions per second. The existing anti-missile systems and the anti-missile systems deployed by the United States and Europe cannot intercept such missiles. It is impossible. This is Second Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. So I'm going to read this again. This is 2 Ezra 16 and 13. It says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Okay, who is this talking about? This is talking about the Heavenly Father. All right, his right hand represents righteousness. Okay, and the bow that he's bending is talking about these thermonuclear missiles. All right. It says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Okay, and the arrows, again, that it's referring to is talking about those ICBM missiles. Okay, and the reason why they are described as sharp is because it's going to pierce their target. Guaranteed, there is no amount of protection that you can mount against the thermonuclear missiles. Okay. These arrows that you have by Shimmy Howard Shah are going to shoot off, are going to reach their target guarantee. Okay? No amount of shielding is going to protect you from what you have by Shimmy Howard Shah has in store for you. Okay? It says, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, which proves that this is not talking about your average arrow. Okay? There's no arrow down here on earth that could be shot from a regular bow that's going to reach the other side of the world. Okay, this is indeed talking about the thermonuclear missiles. All right, and you've seen an example of the strength of Yahabah Shemi Hawashai in these videos. Okay, Russia just recently, you know, uh, attacked Ukraine. Okay, and they used their mid range hypersonic missiles to, you know, pull off this attack. Okay, and you can see the force that these warheads are coming down with. Okay, and this is the same force that Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah is going to use to destroy Babylon the Great. Okay, these hypersonic missiles will be used to destroy America. Okay, and as you've seen uh, Putin talking, there's no way that these things are going to miss. Okay, there are no, uh, you know, there's no technology that the United States has that's going to allow them to escape a hypersonic missile attack. Okay, I was watching, you know, the news uh, earlier. If I could find a clip, you know, Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai willing, I'll put it in the post production. But there's only one system in existence that's able to, you know, defend against the hypersonic missiles, and it's Russian made. <laughs> okay, so America has no way of defending themselves from this missile attack. Okay. And for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, hey, this is what you got to look forward to, man. Okay, the force in which these missiles come down, this is the anger of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. This is how pissed off the Heavenly Father is, man. Okay, he's going to rain these nuclear warheads upon Babylon the Great. Okay, and any of you individuals that's here on the shores of America, Okay, you're not right with your by Shimmy Howard Shai. You're going to get caught up in this destruction. This is what we warn you about, man. Okay, and anybody with eyes can see that that is the anger of your by Shimmy Howard Shai. Okay, you can look at a regular missile strike and it doesn't come down with that kind of intensity, man. 
okay? But the reason why the intensity of these things have increased is because Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai is showing you his anger. Okay, this is Joel 2, and I'll start at 1. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, we are warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans about the destruction that's coming. All right? It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. But see, our people will see videos like this. They'll see, you know, uh, these missiles going off, okay? They'll see this massive uh, destruction taking place, but they won't be afraid, okay? You should be very afraid of what Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai has in store, okay? And use that fear to drive you to get right with Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai cometh, for it is nigh at hand. We, we right around the corner from this thing going down, man. Okay, and the reason why Russia attacked the Ukraine with these missiles was really a show to the United States. Okay, because this is in response to the Ukraine firing long-range missiles at Russia, which these long-range missiles are American-made. Okay, and they need American personnel to shoot these missiles off. Okay, they're the only ones that's trained to actually use these uh, weapons. All right, and these uh, weapons also use American satellites to, you know, target, uh, to find their targets. Okay, so this is all, you know, a show to America. Like, hey, look, we're going to use these on you. Okay, you keep messing around, man. Eventually, we're going to use these things on you. All right, and that is going to happen. Okay, according to the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, it says a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. And this people is not talking about an actual army, okay? This is talking about the army that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has created, okay? Which are those intercontinental ballistic missiles, including the hypersonic variants, okay? It says, There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after, because this is going to be the first and the last nuclear war that's going to take place down here on the earth okay all nuclear weapons will be detonated in world war three it says neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burning which this is going into the missiles okay when they explode it sends that fire out okay and the flame burning behind them is talking about the rocket propulsion system that gets these missiles to their destination all right it says the land is as the Garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness because it's going to leave everything completely destroyed. Okay? It's impossible for you to survive a nuclear explosion. <laughs> All right? But see, Jake ain't afraid of these things. You know, you got a bunch of bug outs out there that come up with all these different excuses of why they don't have to be afraid of, you know, nuclear war. Some bug outs think that nuclear missiles don't exist. Oh, those uh, videos that they have of Hiroshima and Nagasaki being destroyed back in the, uh, the 40s, that's, that's, that's a hoax, you know? Oh, the, the different missile tests that have taken place, that's a hoax too. Oh, Esau Edom, he made that up so he can scare you. Well, <laughs> okay, we're going to see if that's true or not when these missiles actually explode, man. All right. It says the land is as the Garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The only way you're going to be able to escape is if Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has mercy on you. Okay? If you ain't right with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to get burned up. Okay? It says, like as the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. See, you people think it's a joke right now. But when you actually hear those warning signs, when that alert goes off on your phone and it tells you exactly what's going on, missiles are coming over here from China, from Russia, okay, from North Korea, from Iran, from India, from Pakistan, from the, the, the European nations, then you're going to be scared, okay? So you ain't afraid right now, but when reality hits you like a ton of bricks, then you're going to be afraid, but it's going to be too late, okay? It says, before their face, the people shall be much pain all faces shall gather blackness 
They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. So they're going to march in formation. When they get shot off, they're going to be in formation. They ain't going to move from that formation that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has them in. Okay, they're going to be in perfect order. Which is going to be another way that you people are going to be able to tell that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is responsible for this. The Most High is literally going to commandeer control over these missiles and put them in the order how he wants them to be. And they're going to stay in that order. Okay. It says, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his past. And when they fall upon the sword. Okay. Which that's talking about these uh, anti-missile uh, defense systems. Okay. Such as the Iron Dome. Okay. If any nation has something like that set up when these missiles get shot off, it ain't going to work. Okay, they're going to go right through the Iron Dome, right through any defense system that has been set up. And America don't, doesn't even have a defense system capable of intercepting these hypersonic missiles. Okay. But if they do come up with something, it ain't going to work. All right. It says, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They're going to continue on. Okay, it says, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Okay, because there's gonna be a nuclear winter after these missiles explode. Okay, the smoke from these missiles is gonna block out the sun and the moon and the stars. Okay, so that's what it's going into. It says, and the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. The camp that it's talking about are the nuclear missiles. Each and every warhead that's in existence, Yahweh Shimei Shai has control and ownership over that. Okay, and ones that haven't been created yet, Yahweh Shimei Shai has control over that. Okay, those missiles belong to the Heavenly Father. That's his army. All right. And the Most High is going to use that to destroy you Edomites. Okay, it says in the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai shall utter his voice before his army for his camp is very great For he is strong that executed his word for the day of the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai is great and very terrible And who can abide? It? Ain't nobody gonna abide it. Okay, none of you people are gonna survive All right, if you on the hit list of Yahweh Shimei Shai, the Most High gonna get you Okay, the only way you are going to escape is if Yahweh Shimei Shai has mercy on you and that's it Okay if the Most High ain't gonna have mercy on you, you're gonna feel those hypersonic missiles. Okay, I don't wanna be nowhere near them things. Okay, you see how quick them things come down, man. Okay, imagine you being under that, you just get hit with it. You're done. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, 2 Ezra 16. Okay, let's read uh, the third verse. It says, A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Okay, and there's no way. You're going to turn back one of those hypersonic missiles, man. Okay. Once they get shot off, they go into their target. It says a fire is sent among you and who may quench it? Nobody's going to put this fire out. Okay. It says plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood? The answer to that is no. Okay. Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn? The answer to that is no. That fire is going to rage. Okay. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. And again, the answer to that is no. Okay, you ain't turning back no arrow. Okay, and the strongest archer is shooting these arrows off. Okay, so you definitely ain't turning these things back. It says, The mighty Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Ain't nobody driving away these plagues, man. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he is the most high. Okay, there is no one in existence above the Heavenly Father. Okay, whatever the Most High wants to happen, that's what's going to happen. Okay, and it just so happens to be that the Heavenly Father's will is to completely wipe America from off the face of the earth and destroy you Edomites and this society that you built up. Okay, real quick, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. 
okay? And none of these gods that you Edomites worship is going to save you from the destruction that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has prepared for you. Okay, it's, it's literally over for you. <laughs> All right, you're done. Okay, back in Second Ezra 16 and 8, it says the mighty Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? And the lightnings go into the laser beams that come from those chariots. Okay, so not only are you going to get destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles, the, the laser beams from the chariots are going to also help burn this place up. Okay. It says, He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord, Yahweh, Shemi, Yahweh, Shai, shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? See, you people are supposed to be scared that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is threatening you, man. Because the Heavenly Father does not make empty threats. Okay? So all the things that we're reading, the Most High is going to do that. Okay? But you people, you take Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai lightly. So the Most High is going to show you when he sends those hypersonic missiles over here, man. Then you people are going to be afraid. Okay? It says the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof okay because the explosion from these missiles they actually going to break up the earth okay so even the foundation of esau's kingdom which goes into the buildings all right because when you build these buildings you got to dig into the ground you got to establish a foundation first those foundations are going to be destroyed okay after the heavenly father gets done with this destruction that he's going to bring upon america you ain't going to know that nothing was here if you just so happen to be walking around here, you ain't going to know that there was any kind of civilization here, okay? All the foundations, even though these tall skyscrapers are going to be completely destroyed, the sewer system is going to be destroyed, the subway system is going to be utterly destroyed, man, okay? So you ain't going to know that there was anything here, you just, this, is, this is a big desert, okay? The only way you're going to know something was here is because the history is going to be written about this place, all right? But all memorial of the kingdom that Esau Edom has established is going to be completely wiped off the face of the earth. All right. You ain't going to be able to dig into the ground and say, oh, see, this is the architecture of, of, of the Edomites. This is how they built. Okay. Oh, this is like he does when he goes to these different parts of the world. You got these archaeologists that are digging to the ground. You know, they find old cities, old uh, pottery and stuff like that. You know, old uh, tapestry. You ain't going to find that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This damn devil's kingdom is going to be completely destroyed. All right. It says the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are trouble. Okay. Because consequently from those earthquakes that the missiles are going to cause, you're going to have tsunamis. Okay. And this ain't going to be, you know, some tsunami that you've seen hit uh, Japan. These, these are going to be huge waves, man. Okay. It says, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and before the glory of his power. So the sea life is going to get caught up in the tsunamis that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to create from these missiles. Okay? They're going to catch it too, even though they ain't done nothing wrong. It says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. And that mighty archer is talking about Yahweh Shemi Shah. Okay, it says, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So these plagues ain't gonna return again. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to shoot these nuclear missiles off and they're going to accomplish that which Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai pleases. Okay, and what's the pleasure of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? What does the Most High intend on doing with shooting, shooting these missiles off? Destroying America, destroying Babylon the Great from off the face of the earth. Okay, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Shem Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.